Let's look at two vectors, vector A and vector B, in three dimensions. The force vector A is specified in units of newtons, as is vector B. Let's consider vector A and its line of action. It's not clear using vector notation whether its line of action is here, here, or anywhere in space. And the same is true for vector B. Its line of action may be here. This example will assume these lines of action for the two vectors. Often, engineers need to know the component of vector A acting in the direction of vector B. A special application of the dot product is projection. This equation is the projection of vector A onto vector B. This form of the equation uses a unit vector along vector B's line of action as a directional vector. The sequence of operations is important. First, find the scalar value by computing the dot product. Then scale the directional vector by multiplying the unit vector by the scalar value. Let's see how it works. First, find the unit vector for the line of action along vector B. The units cancel. And we have the unit vector. We want to find the projection of vector A in the direction of vector B. Another way to say it is we are finding the component of vector A that is in the same direction as vector B. Remember that vectors are not easily moved from their line of action. But this unit vector here is used as a pointer that defines the direction of vector B. Now that we have the unit vector, we can calculate a dot u, which equals 2.18 newtons. Notice that vector a has units of newtons, and the unit vector is unitless. Therefore, the scalar has units of newtons. Next, find the projection of vector A in the direction of vector B. Scaling the unit vector by the dot product results in the component of vector A parallel to vector B. To compute the vector component that is orthogonal to vector B, subtract the vector A projection from the original vector A. Verify that the vectors shown are in fact orthogonal using the parallelogram method. The two components of vector A are equivalent and can replace vector A.